Welcome to day three of Adrienne's Kitchen. Tonight, we have wine. It's Friday. My hair probably tells you it's Friday. I only worked a three-day work week. Granted, I've worked this weekend, but it's fine. We're going to do some more cooking. As always, rule number one, wash your hands. Rule number two, wear an apron. Rule number three. Get yourself a drink. Uh, adult beverage, regular beverage, whatever. Because while you're cooking, sometimes you get thirsty. So, <clears throat> tonight we are going to make Creole shrimp with zucchini noodles. Woo! As, as we get started here, this one's going to be relatively easy tonight. Um, find a Creole seasoning recipe that fits your fancy. This one I just found on Pinterest. I will link it in the YouTube video comments uh, like I did yesterday. And um, it was a very large recipe. It started with six tablespoons of paprika. And I was like, uh, not today. I'm not looking to get Creole seasoning forever. I'm looking for Creole seasoning for like a night or two. Uh, anywho, so I shortened, I condensed my recipe so it was smaller to fit my little baby shrimps. Um, I'm a cheater when it comes to shrimp. I always buy the pre-cooked stuff that's frozen, let it thaw. I, you're just going to heat it back up in the pan. So you don't really have to worry about getting sick because unless you leave your shrimp out for more than four hours. But you don't have to worry about getting sick or cooking seafood incorrectly or things like that because it's already pre-cooked. Um, and tonight, unlike the first night, we're going to actually season the meat with the seasoning instead of the pan. Over here, I put some olive oil in here. We are going to let that heat up, get set to medium, and then we've got zucchini noodles. If you don't have a zoodler, I highly suggest that you could get one. They are super easy to use. They're like $15. I found mine at Bed Bath & Beyond. My favorite part is that it kicks out these cute little, oh my god, it's such a little, little, little zucchini. It's from the core. But this is two zucchinis. Like this is a ton of noodles happening here. I washed my hands so I can touch the zucchini, but now I kind of want to wash my hands again. So you noticed I had my shrimp on a paper towel that's because when it comes from the frozen bag um it ends up being super duper wet uh just because there's a ton of liquid that ends up in the bag so you're just going to want to let all that excess water kind of drain out onto your paper towel uh, you'll see that i seasoned this and i still have some leftover seasoning may use that as we put the shrimp in the pan may not we're going to see what happens um, also, like, who even has six tablespoons of paprika just hanging out? Like, I only have one paprika shaker. That would be my entire paprika shaker. Like, this entire thing. No, I don't, who needs that much Crayola seasoning? Not me, not today. Who knows, maybe tomorrow. Now I can't get that to go back. Anyways, speaking of zo zoodle noodlers, this is the zucchini noodler that we use. Uh, it has two sides. We have a thick side. We have a thin side for noodles. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to clean, but we just have like a really dumb looking toothbrush that we use to clean silly stuff like this. Um, so again, 15 bucks, Bed Bath & Beyond, totally worth it. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon too. Now that the shrimp is in the pan, it is not going to take long for these to just heat up. This seasoning on here uh, I think looks good. I'm not going to add any more for the time being. When I add the zucchini noodles in, I might add a dash more, um, and then I'll just save the rest of that Creole seasoning. Again, why you don't need a recipe that has six tablespoons of paprika in it. Just saying. Um, I also pulled out some heavy cream and a little bit of cream cheese because I might use it to try and thicken up a little bit of this olive oil spicy sauce that I'm making here. Um, you've probably noticed I have a trend of putting heavy cream or cheese or something into all of my dishes. And that's because I've been relatively low carb since about November, mid-November. And uh, it's been great for me. Not that it's necessarily a perfect option for everybody. It was based on a suggestion from my physician uh, specific to my health needs. And I took I took it seriously when he brought it up, and so I have been diligent most of the time. I went on vacation, had an In-N-Out burger. That was delicious, but I've been diligent most of the time 
and making sure that I am eating low carb. Um, I feel better. I feel healthier. I feel like I have more energy. So for me, it's been great. Um, if you don't want this much dairy, you definitely don't have to use this much dairy. You don't have to use this much protein. You'll probably notice last night I did not have any meat in our, di- in our dish. We just had the squash. Um, every now and then it's okay to do a non-meat dish as well. I got those zoodles in and I did add a little bit more olive oil and a little bit more of the Creole seasoning. And then I had to switch over to a tongs to toss that up. Uh, mix it all together. Another great thing about zucchini is it does cook super fast. It, it, it does have water in it, like in the zucchini. So depending on the type of dish that you're going to have, like I know zucchini lasagna, there's a ton of prep work that comes in play before you can make the lasagna because you have to dry out the zucchini. Fun facts. Um, so this really is not going to take too long cooking because zucchini cooks relatively quickly because it's like so heavy and wa- it's so dense in water. Um, just mixing that up. The Creole seasoning, um, it was, it's got, I mean, it's got a ton of spices in there. So you've got some thyme, you have onion powder, garlic powder, white pepper, black pepper, um, cayenne, paprika, thyme, I said thyme already, basil, and I believe oregano. I was actually super surprised that it didn't call for any salt. So we're going to see how this dish goes since I love salt and there's no salt in it. So stirring this up, stirring this up. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to add some dairy to it because I'm all about my dairy. I'm also from Wisconsin initially, so I feel like dairy is part of my lifeblood. Uh, I only lived there for a year, but I was born there. My family's from there. Um, You know, dairy is just, it speaks to me. It speaks to my soul. So I put that lid onto the top of the pan because I put that cream cheese in there, and I really want that cream cheese to get a little melty. Um, So we're just going to let that kind of simmer and cook in itself. Um... Clean up as you go. That's another uh, good tip. Maybe we should make a rule number, what, five? Something like that. Rule. We should make it a rule. Uh, Clean up as you go because it just makes things easier. So I don't have a dishwasher, which is kind of a bummer, but it's fine. You work with what you got. Um, It was on our priority list. Now it's not. You know, life projects, house projects, they come and go. So if you have a dishwasher, I'm sure it makes cleanup way easier. But if you don't have a dishwasher or you live in a small space, cleaning up as you go, making sure that you have your stuff prepped ahead of time before you start cooking, like all of those are great tips in order to make sure like your cooking process goes as smooth as possible. Um, of course, this process has taken longer because I'm doing filming in between, um, but it's totally worth it. Um, it's fun to hopefully entertain you guys, give you a little chuckle. Today you're getting a little bonus footage uh, for lunch. I found this really ridiculously, probably unhealthy snack recipe, which is frozen cheese sticks. So you put them in the freezer overnight, and then you wrap them in bacon. Um, About a half inch of oil in a pan, fry it up, and then you end up with bacon-wrapped cheese sticks. I don't know if I would make this again. It came out a little weird, and the cheese got too melty, so we'll see. Anyways, bonus footage for you today. Okay, okay. That, uh, definitely, the cream cheese definitely got a little melty. As you can see, there's a ton more liquid inside the pan. Um, and my, or my zucchini has totally shrunk. Uh, that is, again, water-based squash. Like, there's just a ton of water in it. And that's, it's totally fine. It's a great food. It's super easy to season. It takes on the flavor of whatever you're putting it in. Um, and this, I'm really glad I added it because I tried a little bit without it and my tongue was like, whoa, that is spicy. Um, so I'm glad I added a little bit of cream in there because hopefully that's going to cut it and make it a little less spicy. Um, I think this is going to be relatively tasty. I'm also going to just, because tonight's dinner is pretty low key, we'll probably just have a side of cottage cheese with this. So that is, that's a wrap guys. Super simple. Have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Love ya. 10 out of 10, best meal I've ever had. Thanks, babe.